Mansa Musa. Manza so now is the time of the show we shine the black light on the magically melanated. And th today we want to shine it on Mansa Musa. People who don't know who Mansa Musa is. So this is the, th the part of the show I look forward to because I like to shine the black light on us because we don't know our history, man. They don't really talk about Mansa Musa. They don't talk about when we were kings and queens. They like to, t they like to start our history with slavery. But Mansa Musa, king of the Mali Empire. The richest man to ever live. Period. Look him up. The Sultan. Mansa means king of kings. Of the Mali Empire, man. He, he was able to expand that empire. And this is what Mansa Musa is known for. Not only for being the richest man to ever live. So when they tell y'all about Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, man, this, this man, he was, Mansa Musa was a trillionaire. And he had real wealth because he had gold. Silk, that's that's real wealth. Tangible things, gold and silver. Mansa Musa, the richest man that ever lived, and he was a, a magically melanated, aka black man. Mm -hmm. This is what he's known for. Though. He made a trip to Mecca. This is what he took on the trip. Check this out, bro. He had, he took as much as eighteen tons of gold. <laughs> that's how he was rolling now. That's cold. 18 tons of gold. 18 tons. 60,000 men. This is how wealthy he was. 12,000 slaves dressed in the best Persian silk. 500 slaves that was carrying the gold. He had so much gold and was giving it out so much to people. He was buying things as he, as he went along, giving, it away, giving, a, uh, giving away a lot of it. He made the price of gold go down because he had so much and he was sharing it. So the price of gold went down because that's how much he had. Mm. But one of his biggest cities that he he led was Timbuktu. That was known for all engineering, sciences, mathematics. The leading leading city in, in, in the world. Engineering, astronomy, astrology, mm. mathematics, sciences, medical. Anything you can think of, Timbuktu was. People used to die trying to get to the Timbuktu. Trying to get to Timbuktu a city of magically melanated people that was part of the Mali Empire. Mm. But Mansa Musa, the richest man to ever live, man, and they don't even talk about him. You know. Because you know why? When they got colonized, the colonizers, they, they tried to erase his history. But Mansa Musa, man, see, our people need to know about, our young people need to know about our, uh, 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 that we were once kings and queens. Our story just don't start at slavery. Mm -mm. But that's what they always wanted to start. No, man. Things we've done since then. So we shining a black light on the magically melanated Mansa Musa. Hey, you know, I think, you know, they still they still uh, finding some some gold, man. I was just watching a documentary on Netflix. Really? They still, yeah, hell yeah, man. Because people over there in Mali, shh, bruh, the Mali, oh, they still digging, still trying to find, they, I, people still finding gold dug, because it's a lot of gold. Still finding gold dug in the ground, man. You see, he was clear. He, he had plen he was plentiful with the gold, like in it, like a lot of stuff, and he was just giving it away. Bro, just just here, man. He got so he had so much so much of it. But just think, bro, you travel with eighteen tons, eighteen tons. God damn! Dog. Can you think of that? Eighteen tons of gold, <sighs> richest man to ever live. But they don't talk about him. They try to make you think, no, nah, man, Monster Moose, and he wasn't the only one. It's a lot of us were wealthy like that, kings and queens. That's what we. That's what. That's who we are, and what we've been. And what we, what we will be once again.